Hello Libra, this is Jesse with 44 Astro and this is a general tarot reading for the month of July for Libra. Um, this is the inaugural launch of the channel and these are my first readings. I'm starting it on 777 because this is July 7th, 2023 and 2023 is a seven year. Um, so this is going to be a destiny reading because that's a destiny number for the sign of Libra. I'm going to use the Rider weight for the main spread. Ooh, And the main spread will be um, the Thoth Crowley spread. And I will use the Thoth deck as clarifiers for the reading. And I'll explain what the spread is. It'll be three in the middle and then three cards around the four corners. And I'll explain what each one of them represent as I get to them. Okay, so this looks like a love reading. I said destiny reading, but this looks like a love one. This isn't supposed to be specifically for anything like that, necessarily. But if it comes up into the reading, I'm going to gonna talk about it. Um, but I wouldn't really, it doesn't look like much else in the reading has to do with love. Unless it involves an earth sign. So this would be the main energy the current situation or the current question. So you have the Hierophant, the Magician, and the Queen of Pentacles. You have two major arcanas in the current energy. So it's about creating something, creating something from within yourself that's worth nurturing. So you're trying to create something valuable from within yourself. And you're wondering if you can do that. And it could be that you're trying to create love from within yourself. I think we all are trying to do that to some extent. That's what it looks like. Yeah, let's see what the current path is. This is the current, this will be the current path that you're on. And Libra, you are an air sign, and that is the Knight of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, you have two conflicting energies here. No wonder it's confusion. Because these two are definitely facing away from each other, and they are two very different energies. One is fast-moving, in-your-face, and he is an angry fella. And he is like, I'm going to tell you what it is regardless. This guy's like, slow, moving, but look what I have. Took me a while to get it, but I got it. This guy's like, I don't even care if I get it. I just want to be heard. And that's creating some sort of confusion around what you're trying to create. We're going to do some clarifying on it, but that's the current path that you're on. Um, it's looking like that if you are trying to create something from within yourself, love or something else, it could be just something valuable in general, like I said. Trying to create something worth nurturing and valuable. It could be starting a YouTube channel. It could be um, creating anything, building something like a home. We'll have to see cards for that to clarify. I don't see anything that would suggest actually constructing anything. I don't see any home cards in here. So this mainly looks like some kind of artistic creation. But again, the overall energy was love. So you may be trying to create love. But you're having a conflict between these energies of saying exactly, exactly what you think regardless. Regardless of who it may hurt. And then this other energy within you, which is kind of that slow moving, get it done and get it done right, regardless of how quick you get it. And it's at war or it's running away or walking away from probably slowly, while this one's just charging away from the other side. And that's definitely creating confusion in your creation. But on your other path, this is a path you can choose to walk. And this looks like it might have to do with money, something valuable that you're trying to create. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Chariot. It could be building a car, <laughs> a valuable car, but that's that would be so specific, so niche. Um, it's more likely you're just trying to create something valuable in general, and it could be many things that are valuable. And what people value is, you know, intricate to who they are, intrinsic to each individual will be different values and what they find valuable. You're definitely planting seeds, and you're working on, you're working hard on this other path. And you're moving forward victoriously. So whatever it is, this other path, if somehow you can balance out those energies and you just, I think it's just like put your head down and do the work. Like this dude's, both of their heads are down. Do the work. 
Who cares about who hears you or what you have to say necessarily, especially if it's impulsive? Who cares how valuable it is what you get, right? It's less about focusing on those things and just doing the work. And it's the outcome is going to be what the outcome is, right? Like the only thing we can control is within ourselves. There's so many different influences and things going on around us. The only influence we truly have or control is our interaction with those influences. So I would suggest not focusing so hard on your mind, on, on your thoughts about this valuable thing, and just go to work. Go work on it, and you'll get your victory. You'll get what you want, whatever it is that you're trying to create. I think you're. I think it's like holding on too tight. You're just like, you're just like, oh, I gotta, I gotta control this. I, I know this feeling. I, I got to make this happen. It's got to happen the exact way I want it. But that's not how it works. Everything's your energy. It interacts and reacts. And there's so many different influences, right? You can't control all these influences. You can only really control your influence. But you can set your intentions and work. And if you do that, you're not gonna know the specifics of how it comes, and you can't really control that. But it's almost certain. That if you stay to it and you stick to it, you're going to get what you want. And that's with anything. No matter the hardships, just stick with it and have faith in it. And that's what this is screaming to me. This is the advice. And this is some interesting advice. Because again, you have the, the sword there again. You have another court, court sword. The queen of swords. And she definitely don't take no trash. The queen of swords, the five of swords, and the knight of, nine of rods. So yeah, it's work again. The advice is to work even if it's a competitive field, right? Work hard, and you're going to be holding all the swords if you work hard. What's weird is she's facing away from it, though. She's always facing away from the hard work. She's facing away from that. They're facing away from each other. Every one of these is facing away from each other. Fascinating. Everything is facing away from each other. The only thing is facing near, toward each other are these two, with their heads down, they're facing toward each other. And these two, which we haven't got to yet, these two are facing each other. Everything else is like looking this way, looking at this way. Like they're just looking all different directions. I guess the advice is like, maybe it doesn't even matter what other people necessarily think or do, just work. Like, how often do any of us really see eye to eye specifically? We can only see through our perspective as much as as much as we want we can try to see things from another person's perspective and that's great to try but truly we can't we can we can define things the way we define them and we can the words the definitions all that is in language right and we can understand them in a certain way and we can agree on specific things but when it comes to our individual filters they're not the same there's different influences for everyone for everything sociological dogmatic economic just your general disposition it's your own axioms and beliefs it's all going to be different for each individual so there's the different filters so there's always going to be a different flavor to it even if you can agree so my guess is it's saying that it's probably people are probably not going to see you eye to eye with you or not everybody's going to agree you're not going to be able to see things like the same way everyone else does but that's okay because as long as you put your head down and work and this is the other path, and I suggest going to this path. You should put your head down and work. You're going to get what you want. Now, this was this is the outcome. These are the energies that are going to play a role no matter what. No matter what we do, they're going to play a role. And this is kind of what the outcome. You have the Seven of Swords in the middle surrounded by the Ace of Wands and the Star. So even though that's a sneaky energy, in this case, I feel like it's just a strategic energy that you need to use or that you will be using if you choose this path right here to just get down and work and not really worry so much about all these different differing, different views that are viewing, they're all looking this way and that way, these different views. It doesn't really matter, stay true to you. And that's what this lady is saying. When she's got this right here, she's got hard work, he's just looking off into the distance, he's like, I don't care, I busted my butt, it's getting done and look at what I did. This other dude's looking at the people walk away and he's like, I got all the swords. And then she's looking away from both of them, but she's like, she's holding her hand out and that sword up like, I won. And to make no mistake, she won. That's the sort of justice, the sort of victory, the sort of truth. She won. So yeah, it doesn't matter about all these different views. Stick true to yourself. Put your head down and work. And even though 
there's that seven there, that seven of swords. And he's looking at the star. He's being strategic. He's taking what he needs. He actually leaves two swords behind. And it could be in your own mind that you do this too. But he's looking back at the star. So if you let your passions get out of control, I would think, or if you focus too heavily on all these views, you may do this to yourself. And you may walk away from your star. You'll be looking back at it as you steal from yourself and steal away from what could be yours. And that's overall energy. And it could be that you're only taking what you need strategically to get what you need. But this is a strong, passionate energy, like really strong. Like, boom, it could be even sexual energy. It's like, oh, new, start, out of your control. This is mental. He is leaving two swords behind, though. Maybe, maybe it's saying only take what you need. Right? Because like I said, there's all these different views. And they're all coming from you. can only understand it from your perspective, truly. No matter how hard you try to understand and it's wonderful to try to understand other people's perspective. That, that's compassion, that's empathy, and it's good. But you can truly only understand it and they can only understand it from theirs. And being able to and being able to identify that is authentic and it gives them their own sovereignty. It doesn't it doesn't like you don't step on anybody's sovereignty assuming that they know exactly what you know or you know exactly what they know. That's not really fair. So I think if you just take what you need or what you can use, it's going to lead you to this, which is what you want, which is the wish, the outcome, the divine wish. Okay, we're going to use the Crowley deck to uh, clarify. Let me see what we got here. And we're definitely clarifying over here on the current path with these two knights looking away from each other, trying to move different directions. And with this uh, confusion with the Eight of Swords. And then we're probably going to clarify on the outcome there. Seems pretty straightforward, though, to me. And I think this whatever value you're trying to create, just put your head down and buckle down and work. And you'll get it. Take a little bit from each side. Take a little bit from that fast-moving sword energy. You know, that Knight of Swords. Take something from that if you need it. Don't, But don't let it embody all of it. And then take something a little bit from that. A little meticulous, you know, nature. Take what you need. And as a Libra, balance, you're all about balance. So all these all these different viewpoints, I think you're going to have no problem with that. If you just buckle your head down and work and take what you need, you're going to get exactly what you want. There's not any better sign at that than Libra. They're, they are they are balance. They are the scales. All right, so what about this current path to Thrawn? Give me something here. Tell me, oh, right there. Perfect. Emperor. Oh, I had these cards earlier in a different way. What reading was that? been Leo I think so you got the Emperor with the Knight of Swords or Knight of uh, Wands and it looks like the Knight of Discs so you got the Knight of Discs twice right here and again on the same area I cannot kid you it is two Knights looking the opposite direction again and both of them representing different energies. But this time for the clarifiers, you had this with them, which is like have sovereignty over yourself. Take what you need. Dictate what you need to dictate. Leave the rest. And the emperor, if anyone, if any energy can do that, it's the emperor. He knows how to take control. And this isn't take control of others or try to control them. It's control the energies within yourself. And only take what you need from others. And we're about to clarify the Seven of Swords to see if this, what exactly this is. So yeah, Ooh, it wants to stop. Different perspective, transformation, all three major arcana. Okay. And look what's on the bottom. I'm like, I'm trying to clarify the Seven of Swords. Look what's on the bottom. Seven of Swords. You can't make this stuff up, man. I mean, this ain't me. This is, you know, this is bigger energies than me. I'm just talking. This was on top of the Seven of Swords right here in the outcome. You got Death Justice, which is just, just what is it, Justice? No, but it's Balance, which is Libra. And then uh, the Hangman, which is a whole different perspective. 
So taking what you need, yeah, I think that's that's the truth of it. Because I mean, like, it's a whole different perspective. Like you can't control it all, you can't take it all. So take what you need, and that's that's the perspective you need to gain. And that's going to lead you to transformation and balance. Oh man, this is beautiful. Synced up real nice. Oh yeah, just take what you need. People, I mean, you got you got all this going on. It's going to be coming from different angles. It's going to be different. All different um, viewpoints, different angles, different beliefs. What can you do, right? Take what you need. Don't let it offend you. I mean, it's, it's easy to say all this, right? But when you're hearing it in live, real time, or whatever, and depending on the situation, it can be very difficult. So, yeah, just take what you need. Keep your head down and work. And whatever this is that you're trying to create, whether it's, it could be love, like I said. If it's, if it's love you're trying to create, buckle your head down and work. And when I say that, I mean take what you need from life and leave the rest and find that balance. And when you find that balance, it's funny how everything kind of just falls into place. Don't try to control so much. And we all try to do that. And it's funny if you just kind of let things be what they are, whatever it is kind of unfolds. And like I said, it may not happen exactly in the way you expect it to, but as long as you have faith and work hard, it will manifest. It's just a matter of time. Just as long as you stay strong, stay firm in your beliefs. Don't let anything get you off kilter. Keep that balance and keep focused on what it is that you're trying to create, and you will have it. And it's easy to easy to hear other people's opinions and all the, especially with what's going on in the world. You know, with with the war and you know everything else. It's it's it can be it can be so distracting and brutal, and it can throw you off kilter. And I know that as well as anyone. But if you can just stay true to what it is and you can keep that balance, keep your head down and work work for it, work from the inside. And you have work from the inside to create. And if you can keep that balance, you're going to create something that's worth nurturing and it's going to be worth it. Whether it's love, which was the overall energy, or just the material world around you, just whatever you're trying to create. If you just take what you need, take what you need only. Get that different perspective to take what you need. Different perspective. Take what you need, and you'll have exactly what you want. Okay, well, that's really all I have. Um, that's This is the initial reading for Libra on 44 Astro, my channel. Um, I hope to see you again. Please like and subscribe. If any of this resonated with you, leave a comment. I'd be very interested in hearing what you had to say. Um, thank you for being here, and I hope to see you again.